Um, tough game. Um, credit to Stanford. Stanford did a phenomenal job. They um, had us on our heels from the very get-go. They controlled every aspect of the game, offensively, defensively. Um, we had a tough time scoring, tough time defending. Um, just rough. I think, uh, you know, I knew that Stanford would, would be ready because, you know, after the loss, I think I'm sure Tara was on them and they, were, they weren't going to lose again. That's how they played. But we, we just kind of died. And I think we didn't show a tremendous amount of effort um, until the last six minutes. And that's not okay. So I, it's one thing being off offensively or something, but we scored 61 points with awful offense. Um, but we have to build guard. So um, we're going to find a way and um, get back to the basics and, you know, things that aren't acceptable for the Arizona identity is after a free throw giving up a layup. Um, that's not acceptable. And I think um, sprinting back, those things are not acceptable. No ball pressure is not acceptable here, so we just have to get better. And we will. I mean, 45 to 27 on the boards is also not acceptable. So our keys to the game, not able to execute it, so I gotta find a group that can execute it. Hey, you talked about the team, I think it was last week, playing through block shots and going up. How do you think they, they did tonight in that aspect? I think good. I think um, we didn't give up or we didn't care, I think, when they blocked our shots, which is good. Because, like, tier 6 to 8, block our shots, whatever. Um, but I think that I, it's not the block shots. It's, like, the effort for the 50-50 balls after, like, after a layup. I think balls were bouncing off of our forehead. Um, they out-hustled us to balls, you know, Cam and Brink getting tips and we're not helping inside. One of our game plans was to congest the paint. We never did. We left our post on island one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, I think the 50-50 balls, the, the makes and then transition defense, those are things you can control and those are things that aren't acceptable. That's a lack of effort focus and that's not, that's not acceptable here. Um, so we're going to get back to our identity. I, Arizona has an identity and we're not playing that so I have to find the group that can play like that. Um, and we're going to find that. And like, it's not, everything's not predicated here off offense. And we don't have um, Ray Allen or, or um, Chris or whatever. We don't have, you know, <laughs> some NBA shooters. Um, you know, so we don't have Curry here. So we need to be able to guard. And if you aren't making shots, you need to do something else to help your team. Good players, if they're off on one thing, they do something else. So you aren't scoring. You can control your effort on defense. You can rebound. You can be a communicator, but you can't not bring anything and play minutes. And I think that. Um, you know, we have to adjust in that, in that area, or I have to make adjustments in that area. How would you assess the overall fight in the second half? There was no fight the whole game until the last six minutes, so I'd say a zero. Maybe, no, 10%. And, and was it also, I know it's what you guys didn't come out and do and what Stanford did, but was there a little bit of tired legs you came off playing? No, that's not an excuse that I'm willing to, absolutely not. I mean, everybody can make excuses. Stanford's excuse could be they just got their butts kicked at Washington. I mean, they played on Sunday, too. We played double overtime, but no one plays 35 minutes a game here. I mean, today, Kate played 31 minutes, like, which is higher minutes for us. But I, I don't think the excuse is not uh, being tired. Because uh, you're not, even if you're tired, you can match up and transition defense off of me. Um, so I don't, think, I don't think those are excuses that I'm willing to accept. When you worked with your lineup, what were you trying to see? What were you trying to get make happen? Um, I was trying to see if someone can bring us some different type of energy. I think Maddie's done a really good job of bringing energy. Um, but that lineup was not successful in the third quarter. I think they at one point they had 19 possessions, 24 points. So that wasn't a lineup that could get stops. Um, but I think that, you know, like Shane is the catalyst on our defense. She's got to press the ball more. Um, and she's capable of doing that, and we need that from her. Um, and some other people have to step up. I think it's time. It's go time. Um, we have six, minutes, six games left in our regular season. So it is not time to sit back and wait or just predicate everything off offense. You've got to guard. To win games, you have to guard. Um, and you have to rebound. We can't get out-rebounded by 20 rebounds, um, 18, I think, and win a game. And that, we know that playing Stanford. Stanford has lost games when they're out-rebounded, controlled, not fouled. And we, didn't, we weren't disciplined in those areas. So you're not going to beat top 10 teams. You're going to beat the unranked team, um, but you're not going to beat a good team like that. And so we need to be able to take the next step and be disciplined to execute those things. Because um, there isn't, I mean, there's no easy game. The next five games are going to be hard. I mean, Cal's good. Um, then we play Utah, Colorado. And then we go to the Oregon. So these are hard games, and everybody needs wins. 
I'm just like we do, but it's just embarrassing today to be at home and have over 10,000 fans, you know, read out, um, you know, we're calling fans the game and then we don't show fight. Like that's not acceptable. So I do apologize to all the fans um, for us not fighting a little bit more. It's one thing losing, but not in the manner that we lost at home. I, I don't think that's acceptable. Paris, you had uh, 10 points, including two three-pointers within five minutes to go in the, in the fourth quarter. What would you say like, the mentality you had going into it being down uh, however many points? 25. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I think just, you know, there wasn't a lot of time left. Um, so just kind of like, I mean, we have to score at least to lessen the lead and just kind of not, not like – get blown up by as much. Um, so I think the mentality is really just like put the ball in the basket and then just like we do in practice, like get a stop and get a score. Okay, you only had um, 11 field goal attempts today coming off the big game last Sunday. Um, what were you seeing from Stanford's defense in particular tonight? I mean, we knew coming into this game that they play percentages, they pack the paint. Um, so I knew it was going to be difficult, you know, obviously getting um, no move moves straight off the post. But I mean, I think um, we talked about reversing the ball, getting um, getting to the other side. And I think that we didn't really follow through on the game plan. Um, like Coach Adia said, um, we just, we didn't come out with fight like they did. And, you know, the team that wants it more is going to win. I mean, they had 50 of their 84 points in the paint. <laughs> Paris. I thought I saw I saw effort and I saw um, um, tenacious defense. I saw energy um, that we don't have. Like it's not about like even let's say she didn't score those points. Defensively, like we're not able, to, we weren't able to get stops. Like she's pressing. Um, there's sometimes we call press and people don't go press. So it's like that. If you can't at this point, I think it's like beating a dead horse. So we can't follow those things. We can't we can't play. Um, so I saw her bring fight, bring energy, um, bring want, and you know she's tired. And, and it's a hard situation. I know as a freshman, you play one game, you don't play. I mean, she could have came in not confident, but she's at least fighting. And in those things, you get confident. Then you get a steal, you make a bucket. Then you get confident. Then you make the three. Then she banks it, but she didn't call bank. I did. But uh, oh, you did call bank. I did. <laughs> um, but I'm saying like she had fight and she was alive. Like. I, I think, and, and just, you can make mistakes in those situations if you're going hard. Like, you can live with those mistakes. But when you're not fighting, you're not talking, it's like miscommunication, not sprinting back. Those are effort things. On um, makes, they probably had 10 points off of makes and, like, outrunning us. We are, ma we are matched up and pick up. Outrunning us, and Haley Jones had at least three or four that I remember, like, point, pinpoint cross-court passes for layups off of makes. Like, that is an effort and attention to detail, and that's not acceptable, not for a top-20 team. It looked like Jade was stumbling a little bit. She had a little bit of a limp towards the end of the, the – towards the beginning of the fourth quarter, and she didn't play at all in the fourth quarter. Is there any updates regarding her, her, her leg? No, Jade's fine. Um, no, everything's fine. I think she just had a rough night. And But Jade works, and Jade is a great shooter. She will have opportunities, but I think when your shots aren't going – we need rebounding help. We need communication, I think. Um, and it was just one of those nights. They were guarding her really tight. They didn't give her any open looks. Like, she had some very hard shots. But she's not going to go um, 0 for 7. Um, she works on her craft. But, you know, we just – but if you're going 0 for 7, you got to do other stuff. It can be um, diving for balls. It can be bringing energy. It can be fighting a little bit. So there's stuff like that. We have to extract that from Jade. Like, do something else. It's not, everything's not all predicated on scoring. And you can't only play good defense as, for anybody when you're scoring. It's like, what do you do when you're not scoring? Like, and I could say, and usually, like, Lauren. Lauren's a good example, or Elena. She doesn't score 20 points, but she gets steals, assists. Like, so you have to do something else to contribute. And I think all of everybody, and that's like Kate too. If Kate's not scoring, then you then you're a great rebounder. Or you're um, playing great defense. Like I think there's other things that everybody can do, and it's not all about offense. It's not about how many points you score. Paris, how has this been like for you that the playing some and then not playing for a long time and then having mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> definitely difficult. Um, but I think it's just like a learning lesson, um, and then it's just preparing me, like you know, facing adversity. Um, but you know, I just always stay ready. And she showed that today again. And Katie, so you come off this tough game after a really, you know, 33-point effort. How, as a leader, do you go to your teammates tomorrow and say, "Come on, 
we're playing five more games, we have to play better. I mean, we got to humble ourselves a little. Mm -hmm. I think we can't come into a game and expect to just win because we're there. Um, that's not how Arizona got to be ranked. That's not how we went to the Final Four. Um, we've always been, you know, that hardworking defensive mentality team. And I feel like we're kind of straying away from that. And I think that um, we got we got to we got to get people who who want to who want to fight, who want to win, who have heart. And I think we kind of shot ourselves in the foot today from the jump. I mean, we we weren't ready at all. And um, I think that I definitely take accountability and leadership on that. I should have been tougher, you know, um, trying to bring more energy myself. So I think, um, you know, tomorrow it's going to be a wake up call. We got to come ready. We we have five games left and we need to win. And one thing to remember, the year we went to the Final Four, we um, lost by 30 points here against Stanford. And we weren't playing our best basketball in, um, at the Pac-12 tournament. And then something clicked and we turned around. And I was hoping that pivotal point for us this year would have been in L.A. So I really thought we would respond better. Not about winning or losing. I really felt like we kind of took the shift, took a step forward, but now we just took a step back. But we've responded really well. Um, after losses, so you look at the the Kansas game, we got our butts kicked and kind of didn't fight, and then we responded really well. Had an awesome game against Baylor. So there has to come a point in the season where we mature, and you don't have a step forward, two steps forward, three steps back. And I think that's the that's the difference of a top ten team or a top twenty team or a championship team. Um, so we have to get back to the basics, and I think there's something you can rely on, like offense sells tickets, the defense, you know, like. You can win some games, but rebounding and defense wins championships. And that's how we got to the Final Four. We were not the best team. We were a team that could not shoot. But we were gritty as heck, and, and we fought. And you know, so I'm still optimistic that we can do some great things, but we have to get a little bit more consistent. We can't one day be this and the next day be that and be a great team. So this is the type where we got to, this is the time where we have to step up and like do the little things and be consistent in the little things to be good. You know, we're, we're um, fighting to be a top 16 team, and we're fighting to host at home. And, but we have to get better at these little things um, in order to be great, in order to be a top 16 team, because right now we're not. We were last weekend, but we're not right now, so we got to take the step to be more consistent. We've had problems with these long teams, you know, that have a lot of length. I mean, is there anything that you guys could do, given personnel, against this kind of team? Yeah, I mean, so... So you have to hit shots. So if you're playing a team that is very, um, you know, like Oregon State, Stanford, they play percentages. They don't guard you if you can't shoot. They sag off. So you have to hit shots. Because if you hit shots for a couple of things, um, if the guards come off and hit shots, the posts are heavy in the paint. So if you don't hit shots, they don't, it doesn't loosen them up. And then, so then the posts don't have one-on-one -on -one because everybody's in the paint. Shana didn't have, I don't know if Shana had maybe one, one lane to drive. Every other time, and there's size inside. So then there's a Cameron Brink, but on top of her, there's Haley Jones. So there's like six foot four, six two, six two. There's no space. So if you don't hit shots, um, or if you don't come off down screens and, and curl to hit shots, like Maddie hit someone, we, we ran some action for her. It's open. But you don't hit those shots, you're not going to win. Because they're in rebound, when they're all in the paint, they're in rebounding position. And they have a high percentage of rebounds because they're big and they're not in rotation. So if we don't get in transition and we don't move the ball and loosen them up on the perimeter, we're not going to win these games. Unless we can play some like spectacular defense. So if you think about we played Stanford, they've always played this type of this style of play. In the Final Four, we fought back two years. They were way bigger than us. They were killing us on the boards like 17. But we pressed them. We made Haley uncomfortable. We should be on, you know, um, you know their point guard the whole game. We should, Lapolo, we should have been pressing her. We should have been trapping when Hannah Jump, when um, Hannah Jump gets the ball or Haley, make her uncomfortable. But if we can't do that, we're not going to beat them in the quarter court. We're not going to have an advantage when they're pounding the ball inside. We have a disadvantage there. We're smaller, so we have to do other things. So we have to be able to do those other things in order to be elite. And right now we're not doing those, but we will. Um, but it's like we have to have the desire to do that and the understanding that that's how we're going to win. I think the difference of a couple of years ago, our great defensive teams, we were together for three years. So I do give our team some grace in that. Like we kind of learned it. Aries sat for a year, learned our whole system with TT and Dominique. And then everybody, then Kate, they all knew each other. Sam was here for five. Kate's now her fifth year. Sam was here for five years. So they're in our system for five years. Like if this group was together two years, we'd be way better. 
So I think we just have to find a way to have that fight now, and it's got to learn fast. We want to be good. How would you say the, uh, the chemistry has been with the uh, newer players in the team so far this season? Um, I think it's definitely been a little up and down. I think, um, you know, sometimes I'm sure you guys can see, sometimes we come out and we're amazing and we're hitting shots and doing all that. And then sometimes, you know, we're down. So I think that's something that we as a team need to work on. Um, I mean, it's nothing that, you know, Adia can do. It's it's what we find inside ourselves. You know, making that extra pass, even though your shot's open, theirs is wide open. I think those are huge things for us. And um, I think, you know, we still can make those changes. I think that we just, we need to look at ourselves and see what the mistakes we're making and, you know, try to fix those and bring it back together so we can be a great team. But I think, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I don't think that was our best showing today. Coach, after a loss like that, how, I mean, do you find that it makes a big difference that your next three games are at home, that you're not going to a hostile environment for another two weeks or so? Yeah, we played better on the road last week in those, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, yeah, you know, it's just when you're at home and you have 10,000 fans that really – like give you energy, those are the things. It's not about losing the game. It's about the fight, like the effort. You may miss shots, but the effort things like the mishaps in transition, um, those are things that like you don't want to accept at home. Um, not trapping when we're supposed to, not pressing when we're supposed to. So I think, um, yes, very positive, optimistic we're at home. I think we can win the next three games at home. And I'm pretty confident. I mean, they played a really good game. They, they're better than us. They played better. And they're a better team. And that's the reality. But they're beatable. They're very beatable, and we can beat them with the right formula, not with how we played. Um, but they are an experienced team that's won, and we aren't there yet with this group. So we have to learn fast. But I do think we'll take care of business at home the next three games. We have one Sunday, and we have two games. That, like, for us, it's payback. We got swept in the mountains. So I'm very um, confident in what we can do the next two games. Um, and then we go on the road again. So it's just, for me, it's not about winning and losing. It's the fight and how we, the manner and how we lose. If you lose, you just don't hit shots, but you're fighting on the events. You're getting all the 50-50 balls. Those are controllables. I can accept losing like that. It's just not your night. I can't accept losing like just kind of laying down or not following a game plan or not matching up or not communicating. Those are effort things. And those are things that each individual can control. Um, so... Uh, that's just that's the frustrating part. It's not about like there's gonna be some games we just shoot a bad percentage. We had great looks. I remember I think it was a year ago in, in the tournament. We had great looks. We had a whole bunch of threes. We probably took too many, but our shooters got shots and we didn't hit them. And that happens. But um, it's just the effort and the mentality and the um, the your team being together and not and, and staying cohesive when things are hard. I always say it's easy to stay together when things are easy. When you're up by 20 and you're killing it. But how do you come together as a team when things are hard? How do you come together and say, hey, Kate, keep on fighting, play behind her. We got your help. Like, those are the mature teams, and those are teams that win at a higher level. So we have to be able to do that when things are hard. Um, and, you know, we didn't do that today. And it's okay. Like, we're going to learn from it, but you don't want to get your ass kicked to learn from it. <laughs> and we learned from that. We had a learning lesson. Of, we ate humble pie against Kansas. We ate some more humble pie against um, Washington. And we just ate a big piece of humble pie today. But it's a reality check, and it's like, do you want to be better? You got to get better and do it. And we're going to do it. Cool, Thank thanks. You.